going. I don't want to be late for worship. You're absolutely right. I'm all ready. Let's get going. By the way, Brother Carl had sent me a message this morning. He would like to see me after worship. I don't know what he wants to talk to me about. My dear, I sense a request coming. Stop sister, what are you talking about? You know, Brother Carl is someone very deep with the Lord. I think he would have had a revelation about me. This is the reason for the meeting. No, I do not think so. It's obvious, the special affection that this brother has for you. You will come and testify to me. I think it's a prophecy I'm giving you. Here are brothers and sisters. Brother Eric gave us his opinion regarding the evangelization program. He chooses the option of renting a minibus to take all the brothers who will attend the meeting place. Excuse me, Brother Eric suggests that we can rent a minibus. And it takes contribution to pay the costs. Brother Eric will give how much of the amount it will take. Because it is not enough to be willing to speak, but also to participate financially. Because people give ideas, and then when it comes to getting the money out, their mouths are closed. While the brothers, like Frank, who is used to contributing heavily financially, don't talk too much. My sisters, please calm down. Brother Eric expressed his thoughts. And I don't think your words are blessing. Let us watch over what comes out of our mouths, so as not to frustrate others. It says in Colossians 4 verse 6, Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how to respond to everyone. Indeed brother, I agree with you. In everything I do, it is by the grace of God that I am able to bless God's people financially. And each of us is a blessing to the body of Christ. Don't feel frustrated brother, the Lord sees everything. I find that people give too much importance to themselves in this assembly. I am of the same opinion as you, my sister. Imagine it, brother Eric talks too much, more than everyone. But he is the poorest of all. When real people have to speak, like brother Frank, Eric comes to speak too. May God have mercy on him. Enough is enough. But do not worry. I think he had his humiliation today. He will learn to speak when necessary. Hello Brother Carl, did you want to see me? My beloved sister, I wanted to meet you for a very important subject. I'm sorry for the setting, but I wasn't sure if you should agree to a more intimate meeting with me. I have been before the Lord for a while, for the woman God has prepared for me. I find in you the qualities I am looking for. Above all, I went before God, I had confirmation that you are the woman of my destiny. Therefore, I wanted to ask you for marriage. Um, I don't expect an immediate response from you, sister. But I would like you to go on your own, take time before God and seek his face. Because you have to be convinced on your side. Thank you for this statement you just made. I will go pray about your request. I'll get back to you on that. Thanks, sister. Then tell me the revelation that brother Carl told you. My sister Celia was right. Why, Marina? He asked me in marriage. He told me about how the Lord had convinced him that I was the woman of his life. He leaves me to pray, so that the Lord also convinces me. Oh dear. I'm super happy for you, sister. I pray that God speaks to you according to his will. This brother is very strong in faith and attached to God. I am very happy, Celia. You know how my mother never stopped bothering me with this marriage thing. I won't hide from you that God had already told me something about him. But I will go again to confirm. I will support you in prayer, my sister. The only thing that bothers me a little is that the brother hasn't gotten a good job yet. He has to drive a taxi while he waits to get a job in his field of study, but he can't find a contract. But I have this faith that God will act for him. God is faithful my sister. Do not worry about that. The main thing is to reassure yourself that you are in God's plan. The rest he takes care of. Thank you God, for allowing me to speak to this sister. Please speak to her, as you spoke to me. 
reveal yourself to her regarding my request and convince her according to your will. Thank you for everything you do and will do. May the name of the Lord be blessed for this beautiful moment of prayer that we spent together. Welcome again to our brother Peter, who came to see us during his stay. He had a little testimony to give. Thank you all for the warm welcome you gave me. My testimony is that I give infinite thanks to God for what he has done in my life. Brothers, surely some of you have known about my past. I suffered in life. Extreme poverty was my daily life despite being a child of God. Whereas, a child of God should not be poor. Our God is the one who holds the whole world in his hands. Is it said in Proverbs 3 verse 16, speaking of God, that on his right hand is long life, and on his left riches and glory? Why must we suffer? You who are still poor do not really know God. There are specific prayers to pray that God has shown me. It unlocks lives. Anyone interested can come see me privately. I'm sorry brother Peter, but what you say goes against biblical principles. So we invite you to no longer continue this message. I'm very surprised that this is what you wanted to talk about. Indeed brother Henry. As elders of this Christian assembly, we cannot authorize such speech because we are responsible for monitoring the teachings given. Sorry, Peter. But we take away your voice. I understand that you are shocked. Okay, I am going out. Brothers and sisters, I am sorry for giving Peter the floor without first validating what he wanted to say. I urge you all to reject what has been said. It is not from the Lord. I will speak with him more in private, to better understand what he meant. But I sense in my mind that there's something fishy, to go in the same direction. We are at the end of times brothers and sisters. Each of us must be very careful, attached to God, and examine all things in the Bible, as the Berens Christians did. So it is said in the Word, speaking of the Christians of the Berets, in Acts 17 verse 11, they received the Word with great eagerness, and they examined the Scriptures every day, to see if what they were told was correct. This brother Peter, he became rich. I think I'll go get his number and call him later, before he leaves. Hello Brother Peter. I am interested in knowing more, about special prayers to pray, to unlock blessings. Okay, hold my business card and call me. Thanks. Brother, the Lord is coming soon, I think Peter has compromised himself. May God help us to keep the good deposit. I am very stunned. Let us keep the good deposit until the Lord returns. As I told you, the Lord convinced me about our union. So I accept your request. I am the happiest man today. Thank you very much my sister, for listening to the Lord, and for accepting me. I pray that the Lord will be at the center of our relationship. The joy is shared. I pray that God be at the center of this new beginning. He showed me a glorious future with you. Above all, whatever you're going through right now, don't worry. God will open the doors for you. The Lord also spoke to me about this. He gave me a Bible verse, in Isaiah 43 verse 19. Behold, I will do a new thing, which is about to come to pass, will you not know it? I will make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the wilderness. I received the same verse. Oh, God is wonderful. He confirms to us that He is in the center. How were your meeting? Was the brother happy? I am very happy for you my sister. With all the confirmations we have received from God, for this relationship. My sister. His eyes were shining. He was super happy. The most blessing is that the brother received the same Bible verse, which I told you about. Oh yes? That's a clear and clear sign. God bless your marriage. Soon my sister is getting married. Daughter, I'm glad you're engaged. But tell me, what does your suitor do for work? He is a qualified engineer in network infrastructure. But for the moment, he has not found a job. So, in the meantime, he is a taxi driver. What? A taxi man? My daughter, I don't really agree with your relationship. Who will take care of me? You know that I'm counting on you, that you marry someone rich to get us out of poverty. So you leave the city to come see me here in the village to tell me about this? Mama, please, do not do it again. I don't want you to oppose my marriage. My daughter, I tell you, 
You will suffer with this gentleman, and me with you. I don't do much, I sell tomatoes at the market. You know how the standard of living has increased, my business does not give me sufficient income. I'm counting on you to change my life, I want to rest. Mama, it's God who changes your life, not a human. You must give your life to Jesus Mama, so that he can fulfill you. And for my suitor, God will provide a good work for him. Don't worry Mama, we have this conviction. Just be patient. Okay, if you say he's going to work soon, no worries, I'll wait. This little Eric is very attached to money. I think he would do anything to become rich. Also, the time has come for me to have someone joining the sect. So, I'm going to invite him here to our house. So, currently you can't find any job. At all, my friend. Things are difficult, I can't stand it anymore. Continue to trust in the Lord. I'm sure he has a wonderful plan for you. This is an important call. I have to answer it. Go ahead, take your call. I will wait for you. Hello, Brother Peter. Good to have you on the phone. Hello, Brother Eric. I would like to invite you to a seminar here in my eve next week. Don't worry, I'll pay for your transportation and rental. I take care of everyone. This seminar will change your life. Great. I will come willingly. Thank you so much. Great. I'll call you later to organize everything. Thank you God for this blessed call. May your name be exalted. He accepted my invitation. I was sure I hadn't missed the target. I have to go quickly and warn Baba. I will go to the secret room. Baba. Baba. I call you. Introduce yourself. Introduce yourself. Why did you call me, Peter? Thank you Baba, for answering my call. I found a person to initiate for the renewal of my power. I will come with him in two weeks. I want you to validate, the person. Alright, give me his name. Eric Fakow. Eric Fakow, introduce yourself here. Tell me if you have a lot of energy to give. If yes, answer with your image. I am Eric Fakow. I have a lot of glory and a big star. I am ready to give what you ask of me. Thanks. Thanks. It's confirmed, he's a good one. You can take him to me. Thank you Baba. Thank you Baba. Very well, don't forget to sow even more seeds in his heart before the meeting. Okay master. I will have more power. Miracles will happen even more in my church. Thanks for having me here, Brother Peter. I thank God for this privilege you give me. God bless you. Welcome, my little one. I brought you here, to introduce you to someone who will change your life. This is the one who said special prayers for me. I am what I am today thanks to his intervention. You have been able to see the one third of the riches that I have. Do you want to go with me? I hope he's not a marabout, and that no one will ask me to make sacrifices. Don't worry. Look at me. Don't you want to be like me? Think about changing your future. I think you've had enough of poverty, right? It's true. I don't want the humiliation anymore. Let's go. Hello Baba. I took with me the young man I told you about. He wants to become rich Baba. He has been making efforts for a long time, but nothing is working in his life. He wants your help. Brother Peter, you told me they were prayers. Why are we at a witch doctor's house? Brother Peter, that's not what you told me. Weren't you the one who wanted the money? Do you think it's not noticeable? You want money at all costs. It's your desire that led you here. You must answer the master's questions, otherwise you risk being hit. What did you do to me? I am scared. Shut your mouth young man. You talk too much, you are in front of the gods here. Be careful what you say. Do you want to have money or not? Yes, yes I want to have money, I want to be rich, but in an honest way. If you wanted to make money the normal way, you wouldn't be here. I can see in your heart that you are very envious and ready to do anything to have the life of your dreams. I'm going to give it to you, this dream life. But everything comes with a sacrifice. No no. He hadn't explained all this to me, I'm leaving here. I do not want any more. Stay with your money. Brother I'm waiting for you outside finish you come take me home. Baba please help him. 
He's just scared, but he has the seed. Don't worry. Eric, come back here quickly, and agree to everything I tell you. Yes, here I am Baba. Tell me anything you want, and I will do it. I am ready to make sacrifices Baba. I want to become rich. Attention. This incantation worked on Eric, because there was already the seed of evil within him. The Bible says in 1 Timothy 6 verse 9 to 10, but those who desire to become rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and evil desires which plunge men into ruin and perdition. 10 For the love of money is a root of all evil. And some, being possessed, have strayed from the faith, and have thrown themselves into many torments. His heart was predisposed to do anything to have money. Well, now that you're calmer, listen to this carefully. You would become very rich and respected in society. However, it comes with a price. What is this price to pay, Baba? I will do it. You will give me your blood. We will make a pact with the gods. And as soon as you start having money, to keep this going, you will have to sleep with at least 15 women every month. Thus, their energy will be exchanged, for your glory. I can't do this, Baba. I am a Christian, and respected in my congregation for my walk and my faith. I can't sleep with multiple women. Besides, I don't know how to approach so many women. In this case, you will have to get married quickly. So, it is your wife who will pay the price for you to maintain your wealth. On the first wedding night, you must recite the words that I will say to you. Then, you will make three turns with the ring that I will put back on her head. Finally, you will put this ring under her pillow. She will be married to the snake who will give you money. He will come to visit her every night. Do everything so that this secret is never discovered. Otherwise, you will go crazy and lose your life. No, no. I will not lose my life. I will do everything, as I was told. We will begin the ritual. Prepare yourselves. Thank you, Baba. Brother Peter, what have you put me in? My life is ruined. Stop, please. In about three months you will be very rich. I will give you some money to start a business. Sail, so as not to attract attention. You will see the miracle accomplished. I know you are tired of poverty. How do you think I got rich? What I chose was to sleep with girls. Do you think it's easy? I use the girls from my church to fulfill the requirements. It's why I became a pastor. So you better respect the conditions. V. Tell me brother, I noticed that you are a little pale. What is going on? My sister, the interview I did last week was not positive. It's already sad, we've been together for five months already, I still can't get a job. I'm starting to get discouraged. I can't take care of you the way I'd like, I can't put money aside for our wedding. This is all starting to be difficult for me. The little money I earn in the taxi just allows me to cover the bare minimum. Brother, you don't have enough money right now. This is your present condition, but God has a glorious future for you. Do not fix your eyes on your situations, but fix your eyes on Jesus Christ, the one who has the power to change time and circumstances. Don't let your present keep you from glorifying God. Do not weaken in the trial, I think that everything you go through, God allows to prepare you for your season of glory. So do not be discouraged like the Israelites in the desert. But hold firm. For it is said in James 1 verse 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation patiently, for when he has been tested he will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him. There is a reward, my brother, waiting for you at the end of the road. So don't stop along the way. Keep running with God by your side. And I'm content with the little gifts you constantly give me, despite your salary which is not high. I welcome that. You are absolutely right, my sister. Thank you for this message of comfort. Because was feeling weak right now. Although the Lord has promised me things, I see the opposite, and it breaks me. No, my beloved, reject any form of despondency. It says in Proverb 24 verse 10, if you fail in the day of trouble, your strength is only distress. Let your strength not be in distress, but be filled with divine strength. I have this assurance that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Habakkuk 2 verse 3. For it is a prophecy whose time is already appointed, it is coming to its end, and it will not lie. If it delays, wait for it, for it will happen, it will certainly happen. 
you have a prophecy over your life, you will not fail in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everything is not over for you, there is hope. Amen. Lord God, I thank you for this sister that you have placed at my side. A woman of prayer, so attached to you. I thank you, Father. Lord, I pray that you strengthen my fiancé, guard his heart and preserve him from all discouragement. Help him to keep his eyes fixed on you. Help him not to flinch in the face of society's pressures. Help him to see himself in you, to look to the glorious future that you have in store for him. Help me to always be a help to him, in your precious name I prayed. Amen. I hope the taxi arrives soon, I'm tired of waiting. You said that my sister, I can't wait to lay down in my bed to sleep. Oh yes. I forgot to tell you, I'm going to see mom tomorrow, she wrote to me that she wasn't feeling well. I pray to God to grant her good health. May the Lord heal her of all evil. Amen, only I dread our meeting every time I have to go see her, because she always brings my fiancé's subject back to the table. My mother doesn't like him, because he doesn't have money, and she frustrates me every time I go to see her. My sister, don't be afraid. You know, your mother is not really a child of God, so it is up to you to persevere on the path that God has shown you. Anyone but your mother can be used by the enemy to turn you from the path, but you close your ears to anything that is not from God. Choose the way the Lord has shown you. Even if it is strewn with thorns at the beginning, in the end, it will lead you to the right destination. You are right my sister. I just have to close my ears and pray for her. How are you mom? I was a little worried. My daughter, I am a little feverish, with aches and a sore throat. I think it's the beginning of the flu. I'm sorry mom. I'll go to the pharmacy to buy you some medicine. By the way, my fiancé Carl sends his greetings to each other. He also sent you 20,000 francs to buy something. Okay, give me those poor 20,000 there. If you had a rich fiancé, he would have sent me not only more money, but also food. You went and hooked up with this poor guy. You are not good, my daughter. Mom, even when you're sick, do you use this kind of language? God help you, Mom. This boy is doing his best for you. He sends you gifts and money from time to time to show you his affection, but you are always repulsive towards him. What kind of gift, crumbs? Shut your mouth. We give thanks to God for Brother Eric, who took upon himself 80% of the amount required for this evangelization campaign. Also, he gave 90% of the amount planned for donations to orphans and widows. Thank you very much brother, for your dedication to the work of God. All glory to God, what he gives me is to invest in his work. This brother whom I had neglected and ridiculed in the past has become rich, and it is he who is even giving a lot of money today for the work. If I could have him for a spouse. But I don't think he will look at me, because I humiliated him. This brother has become very charismatic. I dream of being his wife. But sister, can I give you a lift? Yes brother, I go very far. Thank you so much. Me too. I accept with pleasure to have a lift. My sister, didn't you tell me that you don't enter the car of the brothers in Christ? Why are you accepting his lift? Don't pretend with me, now that he's rich, you want to get closer to him, I see everything. Don't get in my way. But sister, will you come where I can go? because I have an appointment later. Let's go brother. I'm going to sit in the cabin. She will go behind. Yes brother, let's go. Thanks. All these sisters who had humiliated me are starting to chase me. I became very rich, and respected by everyone. Ah oh, thank you Baba. Thanks to you, shame has left my life. Poverty is no longer part of my vocabulary. Baba. You, you have already benefited from our intervention for more than nine months. You are rich, you have become an influential businessman. 
It's time to pay us. You have nine months to get married, so that your wife can be used as a sacrifice. Otherwise, you will pay with your life. Everything will be done on time, Baba. Please don't hurt me. Take care and respect the conditions. Oh my god. How am I going to get married in nine months? I must quickly look in the assembly to a sister who I like, whom I am going to convince to marry me. I have the money, I know no one will refuse me. I must not lose my fortune, I will not return to ground zero. <laughs> My cousin Maurice, I am very happy to meet you. What are you doing here? The pleasure is shared to see each other again. I have come to see my mother, to introduce her to my fiancé. Oh yes? And where is he? That's him in the Range Rover across the street. His name is Joel, a very handsome rich boy. I'm happy for you. I also came to see mom. With my fiancé, it's him in the car. Oh yes? With this old car? My dear, did you go and pick up a tramp to get engaged? Aren't you dreaming, my dear? Mom told me a little about him. I am going to go. It was a pleasure to see you again. All right. Hello, Mom. Good morning. Have you met your cousin Maurice? She had come to introduce me to her fiancé. Yes, Mom, she told me. They brought me a large stock of foodstuffs. And a big envelope. Her fiancé is very rich and intelligent, a handsome and worthy son. Not some who get up to ask for a girl's hand when they are poor. Mom, please. Your so-called fiancé, what does he do for a living? Tell me. Mom, do you have something to drink, please? I'm tired of being humiliated and insulted for this relationship. Maybe my mother is right? Look at my cousin how she shines. Look at everything her fiancé gave her mom, her aunt. And to his future mother-in-law he gave a car. As for my fiancé, he is not able to give my mother pocket money. Where am I going with him? My mother only has me to change her situation. I wouldn't want anyone to make fun of her. My God, my God. How long will this situation last? I'm broken. God, look at the humiliation. Do something for me, Father. For some time now, I have found you very irritable, my sister. I do not understand what is happening. How not to be? We've been engaged for over a year now. Our relationship goes neither forward nor backward. Your financial situation is getting worse instead of better. I am not a robot. I am a woman, a human being with feelings. I am tired of this situation. No, not that. And what is this strange noise? It's still the engine. However, I repaired it not long ago. Do you see what I'm telling you? Problem after problem. I'm starting to get tired of all this. Please, my beloved sister. Take this slowly. I beg you. Amarina, are you back yet? Quickly let's go to the room, I have something important to tell you. Is that what gives so much joy? Yes my sister, come quickly. I really hope this is good news. Because I'm already on edge right now. I don't want anything else that's going to increase. So there, I am sitting well. Tell me, what was the good news? Do you remember that I told you about my meeting with Brother Mark today? Oh yes. And why was this meeting? I don't remember anymore. My sister, he gave me a nice surprise. Wait, let me tell you. Thank you, my sister, for honoring my visit. The pleasure is mine. Come on, tell me, what was the reason for this invitation? You told me it was for something very important. Proverb 31 verses 29 and 30 says, Many girls have virtuous behavior, but you surpass them all. Grace is deceitful, and beauty is vain. The woman who fears the Lord is the one who will be praised. My sister Sally, this verse is the description of you, in my eyes. I loved you, and I prayed, God convinced me it's you. I love you and I want to be able to spend the rest of my life with you. 
I want you as a helper, that's why I'm asking you this. Will you marry me? This is a request I didn't expect. Thank you for this lovely surprise. I heard what you said. Don't rush my sister. Take your time to pray, and the gods who spoke to me will speak to you too. Oh yes. Brother Mark who is vice director in your company? Yes my sister. I didn't answer him, just so as not to be spontaneous. Otherwise, the Lord had already spoken to me before this request. I'm happy this is happening. Glory to God my sister. You are blessed. What is going on? Why are you making this face? I thought you were going to rejoice with me. I'm happy for you. Just that, I wonder if my engagement really came from God. Because I no longer see a way out of this. I'm tired of being stagnant. My sister, I urge you to be patient. Lamentation 3 verse 26 says, It is good to wait in silence for help from the Lord. Don't let your loved one be dragged away from God's will for you. God knows why he wanted to put you through these difficulties before your marriage. This brother Carl, whom you are already simplifying, has a very great destiny, a great glory. Don't trust his present. Stop your speech please. You have a well-positioned fiancé, you won't want for anything and won't suffer what I'm going through. So you're in a bad position to talk to me right now. I will continue to pray for you. May God open your eyes. Isn't that Brother Eric? Yes, it's him. I'm going to greet him. Brother Eric? Brother Eric? Hello, my sister Marina. How are you? So tell me, did you come shopping? Yes, brother. It's a pleasure to meet you. All glory to God. That's a hundred thousand francs. If it helps you in your shopping. Thank you very much, my brother. What a nice surprise you gave me. You're welcome. All glory to God. My God will continue to bless you greatly. He's going to get you up even more. Amen. By the way, I learned that your mother was unwell. Is she already better? Yes, she is definitely better. She is under treatment. Thank God. That's 200,000 for her. Please give it to her for me. Thank you so much. My God, this brother is very blessed. In one fell swoop he gave me 300,000. The kind of man every woman dreams of having. If only he could ask me to marry him, I wouldn't hesitate. This sister seems good to me. I think she could make a good wife for me. She will be well submitted to me. I'm going to ask her to marry me. My darling, my daughter, you say which brother in Christ is the one who sent me 200,000? Brother Eric, Mom. God raised this brother, today he is very rich. He is also super kind, he does so much good for people. May God bless this man again. 200,000, just for me? Yes, Mom. Tell me, is he married? No, Mom, he's single. Thank God, that's the kind of son-in-law I dream of. My daughter, I want this boy to become your husband. Go ahead and pray to your God, for this man to ask you to marry him. I no longer want this poor man, which you call fiancé. Mom, I'm already engaged. Please. I will never accept this gentleman as long as I am alive. I don't want your fiancé except in my grave. You are a woman, do what you have to do so that this brother, who gave me 200,000, be your husband. Brother Carl, why is he insist in the appeal here? I don't pick up, he can't understand that I don't want to talk. Oh she cut call. I no longer understand the sister, she has become distant from me. I don't know what's going on. God, please help me. She hurts me with her behavior. My sister, you wanted to meet me after the service. Was there a problem? No, brother Eric. Just sending my mother's special thanks to you. She was very happy with what you sent her. There's nothing wrong with it. It's normal. We are called to support each other. By the way, you could also send me a message to pass it on to me. Not to wait until after worship this evening. Sorry, 
I didn't have your number. Okay, I'll give it to you right away and don't hesitate to call me if you need it. Thank you very much, brother. My sister, I've already been waiting for you for 15 minutes and you knew it. I was busy, in case you hadn't noticed. Alright. Please tell me if I did anything that offended you. I no longer understand the distances you take. You no longer answer my messages, and even my calls are difficult. I would like to know what is going on. Nothing happening, I'm just busy. I do not have any problems. If you don't mind, I'll have to leave you, my sister Celia is waiting me. Oh brother Eric. He is so caring. Lord hear my prayer, turn the heart of this brother Eric in my favor. I pray on his phone number, that he can call me tonight. That he sees me as the woman of my life. That he doesn't see any other woman, except me. I beg you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. <laughs> I see that this sister seems interested in me. I'm going to ask her to marry me next week. I don't have enough time anymore. I have to send her a message tonight, to watering the seed of love in her heart. Brother and sister part 2 of this series coming. <laughs>